Hi, today I'm going to do a uh, bulb replacement on my Mitsubishi projection TV here. This is one of the 73 inch diamond TVs. It was made in 2009 and uh, I bought it uh, uh, Black Friday then. So it's about three and a half years old, maybe a little bit longer, and it's still working on the original bulb. The, uh, I'm going to show you before and after and also the installation on how to replace it because it's not that big of a job. Actually, I think my, my son said he wants to go ahead and do it, so we'll have my son change it out and do that. But here's a before and after. So here's the TV, I'll go ahead and turn it on. We can watch the screen, watch how dark it's getting, and we can check and see the difference afterwards. One of the things I want to say, uh, usually I, I sell stuff on eBay and I also buy stuff on eBay. I like eBay because you have protection buying stuff and also the, uh, the competition keeps the prices down low. So I got this one from a one called DTV Lamps for the, uh, had really good prices, good quality. They have different ones. They have the, uh, the gen, they have the aftermarket ones, the generic ones, or they have the genuine Mitsubishi ones. I went ahead and got the Phillips because I emailed them and asked them. They said they have the best luck with the Phillips. So that, that's the bulb we're going to be putting in this one is a Phillips uh, lamp for it. And you can see the screen, you can see how dark it is. Uh, especially around the edges, pretty much the TV is just about unwatchable. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the TV around, uh, film my boy replacing it, and then show you an after on the TV, see how much brighter it got. Um, all in all, I got about $100 in this before you can get a good quality bulb. So let's go ahead and do that part. Got the brightness, as you can see, is all the way up, contrast is all the way up. Trying to do everything we can to get the best picture out of it, but the bulb's just gotten too dim. Okay, I have my youngest son, Adam, here. He's going to be the TV technician for today. And here we have the TV turned around, and of course it's safely unplugged. So we have the plug out, and we're ready to go. Uh, one thing I want to mention, you can see here on the back of the TV, this is the access panel. It says right there, lamp cartridge access panel. And we're using a genuine Phillips bulb that's made for this one because that was recommended by the DTV lamps as their best one for this TV even better than the one that originally came with it they claim it comes with a year warranty if you get off their website so I figured it can't go bad there so anyhow Adam's going to do the install and uh, walk us through this there's only one Phillips screw on the back access panel for it to to remove it and to get into the light area. There we have the panel off and there's the light inside there. You can get the bulb separate but I went ahead and got the whole cartridge, um, the whole replacement cartridge. It's a few more bucks, less things to go wrong and figured I had, um, I don't know if it's any better or not, I'm not a TV technician. but. Except for a few extra bucks, I like to have the whole thing. Also, that does have the two Phillips screws to, uh, to remove that. The rest of the connection is going to be just a uh, push-in electrical connection. So two Phillips screws removes it. Adam's been fixing TVs now for, um, uh, looks like about three minutes. So he's about ready to call up Best Buy and put his app in. See if he can start making service calls because I've been told that this is like a $200 service call. Actually, if you want Adam to come out to your house <laughs> and you're willing to pay 200 bucks, you might just drive him by. Okay, so he has a two Phillips loose. There's a handle there, so we're going to pull it out. And there you can see the tracks that it goes on. There's tracks there and inside there where it came out of. Now we'll go ahead and look inside there. It seems pretty clean, the part where the light shines through. So we'll go ahead and install the replacement lamp. Now there, go ahead and slide it in. All looks good. Sure, it's seated all the way. Push it in. Let's see. 
seat. Okay, that's all seated. And then also this kit came with uh, two new screws. You can have it there if you want to put them in by hand, I guess. But it also has a uh, option for a flathead. Good thing we have both out here. So we'll go ahead and install them. This is the place part where it takes a little bit of skill. So that's another reason why I had him do it. With his smaller hands, I would have been dropping that thing a couple or three times. And if you don't want to use these, then you could I'm sure you could always just transfer the old screws out of the other lamp. Put the two screws in. While he's doing that, I'll point out here's the old lamp. A little bit dusty, but that's the electrical connections that just slide in. So they're fine, just a, just a push in connection. We don't have to do anything special with that. Okay, we'll snug that up. Then we'll turn the TV around and show the difference now with the new bulb in there. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off while I turn the TV around. Okay, we have it all turned around, turned back, uh, plugged in and everything ready to go. So go ahead, Adam, turn it on. Let's see the difference here. There we go, we got the blue light. And we'll watch the TV warm up and see what happens. Here it comes in. Come on, TV. There it is coming on. It's starting to come in. It seems to take a minute to warm up to start getting bright. Getting brighter by the second. a lot better. It said before it was getting pretty much to where we couldn't watch it. So here we go. And there you go. There's the install and we got the TV going. Thank you, Adam. Okay, here we go. I have it all. The TV's all warmed up, ready to go. And just to show you that there's no trickery going on here. Not that I have anything to gain by this. But we'll go ahead and add them and show them that the uh, the settings there. As you can see, we don't even have the brightness all the way up or the contrast. It actually, go ahead and take it out of that screen for a second, get it back to just watching it. As you can see now, it's um, actually a little bit too washed out, too bright. So I'm gonna probably have to lower the brightness down a little bit. But um, I'm pretty happy with the bowl. It makes the TV where we can all sit down and start watching it again. Uh, gotta watch fast and loud. <laughs> there we go. Anyhow, thank you.